Hi everyone, good day. So I'm Jade P. Himpiso and I am the first reporter of Chapter 3. The second reporter will be Miss Jarlene Jell Ortiz and the third reporter will be Miss Kathy Perino. So our topic is all about the early education of Dr. Jose Rizal in Calamba and Binyan. So let's start. Rizal has his early education in Calamba and Binyan. It was a typical schooling that a son of an illustrado family received during his time, characterized by the four R's, reading, writing, arithmetic, and last is the religion. Instruction was rigid and strict. Knowledge was forced into the minds of pupils by means of the tedious memory method aided by the teacher's whips, which means that the teachers before were so strict when it comes to education. Despite the defects of the Spanish system of elementary education, Rizal was able to acquire the necessary instruction preparatory for college work in Manila. It may be said that Rizal, who was born physical weakling, rose to become an intellectual giant not because of, but rather in spite of, the outmoded and backward system of instruction obtaining in the Philippines during the last decades of Spanish regime. So now, let's proceed with Dr. Jose Rizal's first teacher. So her fir his first teacher was his mother, Chodora Alonso Realundo. She was the best known mother, who was a remarkable woman of good character and fine culture. On her lap, he learned at the age of three the alphabet and prayers. My mother wrote Rizal in his student memoirs taught me how to read and to say haltingly the humble prayers which I, which I raised fervently to God. So his mother taught him on how to read, not just read, but also on how to pray. As tutor to Rizal, Don Doña Chudora was patient, consensuous, and understanding. It was she who first discovered that her son had a talent for poetry. Accordingly, she encouraged him to write poems, to lighten the monotony of memorizing the ABCs, and to stimulate, sti stimulate her son's imagination. She related many stories. As Jose Rizal grew older, his parents employed private tutors to give him lessons at home. The first tutor was Maestro Celestino, and the second is Maestro Lucas Padua. Later, an old man, Leon Monroy, a former classmate of Rizal's father, became the boy's tutor or, the Rizal, or Rizal's tutor. This old teacher lived at the Rizal home and instructed Jose in Spanish and Latin. Unfortunately, Leon Monroy died and he did not live long. He died five months later. So after Monroy's death, the heroes or Rizal's parents decided to send Jose Rizal, their gift or their gifted son, in a private school in Binyan. So Jose Rizal goes to Binyan. One Sunday afternoon in June 1869, Jose, after kissing the hands of his parents and a tearful parting from his sister, Rizal left Calamba for Binyan. He was accompanied by his older brother, Pasiano, who acted as his second father also. The two brothers rode in a karumata, reaching their destination after one and one half hours drive. They proceeded to their aunt's house, where Jose Rizal, um, Jose Rizal was to lodge. It was almost night when they arrived and the moon was about to rise. That same night, Jose with his cousin named Leandro went sightseeing in the town. Instead of enjoying the sights, Jose became depressed because of his homesickness. He uttered, in the moonlight, he recounted, I remember my hometown, my idolized mother, and my solicitous sisters. Oh, how sweet to me was Calamba, my own town, in spite of the fact that was, it is not as wealthy as Binyan. 
So, here it goes, the first day in Binyan School, the first day of Rizal in Binyan School. The next morning, Monday, Pashano, Rizal's older brother, brought Jose Rizal to the school of Maestro Hostiniano Aquino Cruz. The school was in the house of the teacher, which was a small nipahat about 30 meters from the home of Jose's aunt. Pashan, Pashano knew the teacher quite well because he had been a pupil under him before. He introduced Jose to the teacher. After, after which he departed to return to the Calamba. So, um, hinatid lang niya si Jose Rizal doon sa eskwelahan. Immediately, Jose was assigned his seat in the class. Then the teacher asked him, Do you know Spanish? A little sir, replied Kalambat, he Kalambalad, which is Jose Rizal. So the teacher asked again, Do you know Latin? A little sir, replied Jose Rizal. And the boys in the class, especially Pedro, um, So the boys in the class, especially Pedro, the son of the teacher, laughed at Jose's answers. The teacher sharply stopped all the noises and began the lessons of the day. Jose described Jose described his teacher in Binyan as follows. He was tall, thin, long neck, with sharp nose, and a and a body slightly bent forward and he used to wear a sinamai shirt woven by the skilled hand of the woman of Batangas he knew by the heart the grammars by Nebreha and Gainza add to this severity that in my judgment was exaggerated and, and you have the picture perhaps fog that I have made of him but I remember only this said Jose Rizal. First call brawling the afternoon of his first day in school. When the teacher was having his siesta, Jose met the bully named Pedro, which is the son of the teacher. He was angry at this bully for making fun of him during his conversation with the teacher earlier that morning. Jose challenged Pedro to a fight. The latter readily accepted, thinking that he could easily beat the Kalamba boy who was smaller and younger than him. So, the two boys wrestled furiously in the classroom, much to the glee of their classmates. So, the classmates, the classmates of them cheered for to anyone who will win. So, Jose, having learned the art of wrestling, from his athletic tio Manuel. So, Pedro didn't know that Jose Rizal was um, uh, mastered wrestling by the help of his tio Manuel. And Jose Rizal defeated the bigger boy, which is Pedro. For this feat, he became popular among his classmates. Um, he became popular because he beated the bully he won against the bully named Pedro. After the class in the afternoon, a classmate named Andres Salandanan challenged him to an arm wrestling match. So, um, for example, you are Jose Rizal, then after a fight, then you will have a fight again to another um, lad. So, what will happen to you? You will be weak. So, they went to a sidewalk of a house and wrestled and wrestling with their arms. So, Jose, having the weak arm, the weaker arm, lost and nearly cracked his head on the sidewalk. So, Jose Rizal doesn't have um, enough energy because he, earlier this morning, he, he fight. He made a fight to the bully called um, named Pedro. 
So, in succeeding days, he had other fights with the boys of Binyan. So, Jose Rizal is a fighter. He was not quarrelsome by nature, but he never ran away from the fight. So, Jose Rizal, Jose Rizal is not a troublemaker. But when someone um, wants to um, belittle him, he will not sit down and be quiet. He will fight against that bully. So, that's it. Next, we have Rizal became the best student under school. In terms of um, academic studies, Jose beat all Binion boys. He surpassed them all in Spanish, Latin, and other subjects. Some of his um, older classmates were get jealous of his intellectual superiority. They wickedly squealed to the teacher whenever Jose had a fight outside the school and even told lies to discredit him before the teacher's eye. Consequently, the teacher had to punish Jose. Rizal's early education made him took painting lessons in Binyan and was taught um, by an old painter named Juanco, his school teacher's father-in-law named Justiniano Aquino Cruz. Jose had a very vivid imagination and a very keen sense of observation. At the age of seven, he traveled with his father for the first time to Manila thence, and thence to Antipolo to fulfill the promise of a pilgrimage made by his mother at the time of his birth. They embarked in a casco, a very ponderous vessel commonly used in the Philippines. It was the first trip on the lake that Jose could recollect. As a darkness fell, he spent the hours by the catech, admiring the grandeur of the water and the stillness of the night. Although he was seized with a superstitious fear when he saw a water snake entwine itself around the bamboo, uh, the bamboo beams of the catech. With what joy did he see the sun at the daybreak as its luminous rays shone upon um, the glistening surface of the wide lake, producing a brilliant effect. With what joy did he talk to his father, for he had not uttered a word during the night. When he was nine years old, his father sent him to Binyan to continue studying Latin because his first teacher had died, which is her mother. And his brother, Pashano, took him to Binyan one Sunday and Jose bade his parents um, and sisters goodbye with tears in his eyes. Ever since Rizal go to school, um, he always felt homesick. That's why every time or every leisure time, he used to back and forth to Calamba just to visit um, his loved ones. Since Jose studying in Binyan, he also met other um, people. One of those are, uh, one of those is his cousin Leonardo, which is the son of his aunt, where Jose was used to lodge and they go to other places like going to town just to see the moon just to wash out Jose's um, boredom but apparently Jose felt depressed more instead of um, because instead of um, doing something it should be for a family Jose also spent his leisure, ta leisure hours with Justiniano's father-in-law, a master painter. From him, he took his first two sons, two nephews, and, and a grandson. His way life was methodical and well-regulated. He heard mass at four. If there was one that early or studied this lesson at, the, at that hour, and went to mass afterwards. Returning home, he might look in the orchard uh, for a mambolo fruit to eat. Then he took his breakfast, 
consisting generally of a plate of a rice and two dried sardines. Jose has a teacher in Binyan, which was a severe disciplinarian. His name was Osteniano Aquino Cruz. He was a tall man, lean and long-necked, with a sharp nose and a body slightly bent forward. He used to wear a cinema shirt woven by the deft hand of Batangas women. He knew by memory the grammars of Nabra and Gainza. To this add a severity which, um, in, in my judgment, I have made of him, which is all I remember. Jose Rizal's schooling in Binian lasted for a year and a half.